Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. So, before I get into this video, I just want to let you guys know it is about 3 a.m. and I have uh, roughly about 10 hours before I have to be on a flight to go back to the United States. And the reason I'm making this video is because, guys, I love Death Scythe with a burning passion and I am not even the biggest fan of Gundam Wing, but Death Scythe is just a really cool mobile suit and its pilot, Duo Maxwell, is one of the charismatic characters in like all of Gundam. So I really want to do this mobile suit justice and build it and review it for you guys. And this video would not be possible without NewTypeHQ.com. If you want to pick up some good mobile suits just like this one or some tools, go ahead and check out their website. And be sure to subscribe and like the video if you have not already, so that way you can always be up to date with all Gumpla goodness from this channel. Now taking a look at the box, honestly guys, this is some beautiful artwork. If I was the kind of person that like hung up all my box arts, this would be one of the main centered pieces because I just love it. I love the way it looks. It's just really, really wonderful. But overall, the box looks fine, no issues whatsoever, and the price point is relatively cheap. You could probably get it for about $16 to about $18 in the US. And here it is finished. Guys, oh, it looks so beautiful. Honestly, the details on this are pretty good. It doesn't have like heavy panel lines and surface level details, but it really does stay true to the kind of proportions as well as the style of the TV version. Now, can't be a one-to-one -one recreation just because the 90s aesthetic is just so wonky, but this as a modern day model kit, it's really what I wanted whenever I had like the old 90s, you know, one in 100 scale ones. Those are fine as they are, but this is just something I can really pose and I can put into some decent just action style poses. So this is just a huge step up. Now this is gonna come with some stickers, mainly just the three for the head and then the red for the like V on the crotch, which it's pretty bad to be honest. But overall, the stickers are okay. Now before we get into the articulation, let's get into some of the gimmicks. The first one is going to be in the shoulder. It's a little bit of a like hinge that can kind of push it out a little bit further. Um, that's pretty much it for that shoulder piece. Now for the shoulder armor, the thruster can actually be pushed in so that way you can have further articulation with the shoulder. And then for the leg, if you unclip the knee armor, you can actually move the leg out just a little bit further so that way you can get an extended range of movement with your leg. Now overall, the articulation is fantastic. I have pretty much no issues, except for the head. The head armor does kind of get in the way, so you can't really move the head all that much. You can't do like some really good dynamic, like looking down poses and all that, but for the most part, the rest of the body is great. I don't really have any issues. The legs and the hips, those are, f oh my God, they're just like orgasmic because they are just moving at such dynamic ranges. And that's just oh, not unheard of, but it's so uncommon when it comes to the high grade line. So seeing just all this great range of movement for a small high grade is, it's just blissful to be honest. Now it will come with three pairs of hands. The first one's gonna be just the open accessory hands. Next is gonna be the expressive open hands. And then the two tilt thumbs up hands. Now taking a look at the weapons, the first one we're gonna take a look at is going to be the beam scythe. This is just a beautiful, beautiful weapon. Uh, the top part can actually move up and down and you're gonna have two different beam energy blades that can actually attach to it. One's gonna be a smaller one, one's gonna be a larger one. I'm just gonna default go to the larger one, honestly. Then you're also gonna have a smaller condensed version and that's just gonna go onto the butt flap. Next we're taking a look at is going to be the Buster Shield. It looks great. I love the color separation on this. You just peg it right onto the left hand and it's gonna come with a beam effect part for this whenever you open the front, kind of like a little scissor parts, but looks great and you can actually put it on a stand so that way you can kind of you know emulate it just launching out. Now for comparisons, I don't have too many high grade wing kits. So here it is next to the high grade heavy arms the high grade Leo, and the master grade Death Scythe, which I think is the glory of the losers version, which is kind of like a pseudo, or it is a version Katoki because he did design it. So yeah, like a version Katoki essentially. 
All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I know this is a very short video, and I really would have liked to kind of be more in depth with it, but like I mentioned, it's about three o'clock now, so I do want to summarize this with an immediate cop it. I don't care what links you're going to have to go to, but this is just a marvelous, marvelous high grade, and I don't really say that about a lot of high grades. Some high grades, I really just kind of like say, eh, you don't really need that unless it's the age line. That's a pretty much perfected line. But the new wing high grade line is really just rejuvenating my love for wing that I had when I was a young kid. And like my, my nostalgia boner is just just erect right now. So when I see this, I just am reminiscing about like all the good times I had with the old, you know, death scythe uh, high grade kit I had back in the day. And having this in my hand just really just gives me some good warm feelings. And not only that, guys, but this single-handedly brought me back into building models again when I was just kind of like in a very big slump. So I, after building this, I was like, I just want to paint it. I just want to like start building again. And I'm re like really just hyper enthusiastic for building models once again. And that's just the power of this kit. I'm not, I'm not even lying. No cap. Uh, this is a really awesome model and i do implore you guys to at least check it out you know maybe check out some other uh you know reviews or videos or pics but you should probably pick this up and pick it up at none other than newtypehq.com but that's it for me guys thank you all for watching thank you to the members who have been supporting me this whole time and thank you all to the discord you guys are fantastic but i'll be seeing you guys in about three weeks all right i'll see you then Bye-bye.